Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to look at the, some more basic Comfy UI workflows. In particular, how to fix faces. Now this is your typical workflow. You've got your checkpoint, your positive prompt, negative prompt, your empty latent image, your case sampler, and we can preview the image, right? So let's just cue that prompt for a second. All right, you can see right away that the face is not that great. And we're going to show you how to fix the face with a face detailer pipe, right? Now, before we alter the workflow to fix the face, we need to make sure we have a few extensions. So head over to your Comfy UI Manager, install custom nodes, and make sure that you have the impact pack installed. And I think also have a look at, let's see, uh, making sure you also have this extension installed because later on in the video, I'm gonna use one of the nodes from this uh, author uh, just to show you some labeling of the masking that's going on okay so once you have that installed also we need some models so what you're going to need here is search for ultra and go ahead and install these ultra analytics models so you can choose the the face you love um, here we have the hand, a person, um, this deep fashion is up to you, and then this is another face one, and skin. So go ahead and install the ones that you are particularly interested in, um, but for this video you will need you know, the face, the person, and one additional one which is not here um, for later on in the video. So. To get that additional model, I'll provide this link in the description below, but head over to Ultra Linux, Ultra Lytics, and the releases. Now I've got a whole bunch of models that you can download, but the one we're looking for is this one here. Uh, so it's this one, All right? So YOLO 8M SEG. Right, so make sure you have that one downloaded, and when you download it, save it to your Comfy UI Portable Comfy UI Models Ultra Analytics Seg M folder. Okay, so this is where you're going to need to drop this file. Okay, all right, so we've prepared everything, you have the custom nodes installed, you've downloaded the models. All right. Now let's change the default workflow to actually fix the face. Now, typically we use a case sampler, but I'm going to just do something a little bit different and you'll see why it makes it easier later on. So I'm going to add in a different sampler called the case sampler pipe. Okay. Now that allows me to still connect these up. And I can join the the VAE and the latent samples up here from this pipe. But the input over here is a basic pipe. So I need one more node up front here, and that comes from the impact pack. So choose the two basic pipe. And that allows us to connect this pipe to the sampler here. And this latent image to there. And then we've got the same inputs like we would normally for a sampler. We've got the model, we have the clip, and the VAE, and then of course positive and negative prompt. Okay, so this again should still work. Let's cue that up. Yep, everything still works. Okay, so how do we fix the face? What we need is you know, I'm aware, of course, that you could do upscaling to fix fix things, but let's let's look at this new node. 
and see how we can make things better. So we want to go and choose a detailer here and there is a face detail, oh, sorry, simple face detailer pipe. This is the one we want. Okay. And now these two don't join up, right? I can't connect these two because they're, they're different pipes. I need to go from here to slightly different node. Um, and let's see if it'll give it to me. So the one I want to choose in particular is slightly different. It's this one. I want to go basic pipe to detailer pipe. This is the one I'm looking for. So, and the reason being is because I've got these extra detector models that I can add into this node. So let's hook that up and hook this up. All right, and now what we want to do is make sure we have the image connected here and it's an image. So we've already decoded the image coming out here. So let's join that up here. And let's choose our bounded box detector and our SAM model. And the way we do that is I'm going to use a loader or a provider from Ultra. Ultra Linux detector. Oops, it went away. All right, so I need two of these. Okay. One for the bounded box and one for the segment. All right, so let's make sure we're choosing the right model. So for the bounded box, we want the face and for the segment, we want the face. Okay. And we can add this Sam one. Uh, I think it's Sam. Sam loader. Yep, this one. Okay. And we can leave that the default and we can connect that. So these are these are of course optional. Right. But let's see what happens if we now choose to alter this original image and preview what it looks like side by side. Okay, let's move this over. Cue that up. All right, there we go. You see, it fixed the face, so that's pretty awesome. All right. And just want to show you what it actually looks like. Like, how did it know to recognize the face and where each of the pieces is fixing? Well, we can take a look at a few things from the output. We can preview this image. And we can also preview this image. And for interest sake, let's also look at the mask. So we can mask the image and preview that. So let's key that up again. And there we go. You can see how each one of these cropped images and the um, refined images are. So this is cropped. This is refined and this is the mask and that's how it's finding the face and, and fixing it. So it was just really a quick basic workflow for face detailer and, the, and I'll leave the workflow on the GitHub page in the link in the description. The next thing I want to show you just is kind of a quick uh, labeling thing. Uh, it's really about getting masks, identifying the masks in the image and, and labeling them. And let's see if we can clear this out and just show you what that's all about. So we'll load an image. Okay. And we will choose. Let's see this one, All right, Because there's a few things that are going in this image. There's the woman, there's a handbag, there's cars, and there's other people in the background. So I want to see if this 
Ultralytics um, detector can detect various pieces of this image. So for that, we're going to need a SIG M detector. So we need this one. And we, that's where the image goes in. And then we need the, the actual provider. So this provider. Um, and now we're going to choose the model that we downloaded manually, which is this Yolov 8M SIG, which came from this releases page. So we choose that, and then we choose the SIG M detector, put that in there. Awesome. Okay. Now let's actually see what's going on. Um, and to do that, we have to decompose and convert a few of these segments. So let's start with dragging that out. Search for decompose. Okay. And then we will need to go from. Yeah, perfect. And then we choose the label from here. So I just want to see if it's identifying everything. And if you had installed that additional custom node, you would be able to say show text here. This one. Okay. Cool. Uh, now it would be nice also to see a few of, of the images, not just the text, to see how, how it's identifying the images. So uh, let's get this to a mask. Um, if there is a sig to mask list is what I'm looking for. Okay, it is input sigs to mask list. Yep, this is the one. So we drag that in there. This is going to give us a bunch of masks. So we can have to convert them to images. So mask the image, and then we can preview those images. I know it's quite a few steps, but you know, we're just getting through how everything looks. And actually, I think there's a shortcut. They This at least gives us the masks, but there's a shortcut to actually see the images. And to do that would be six preview. Okay, let, let's give the prompts and see what happens. Okay, not bad. So you can see over here, here's all the masks that it's identified. Here's the images of those masks. So we have a person, a car, another person, and I'm not sure what it's identifying here, an elbow, <laughs> and then another person, and the handbag. Okay, so those are the individual images, and then here's the text that it pulled out from that. And the reason why we're getting all of the identifications is because we chose all over here. If we choose the handbag and we run that again, then it should only pick up that handbag mask. Perfect, awesome. So this is a little quick demo on how to um, get the masks based on a detector and if that might be useful for you in the future okay all right so that's all for today and i hope you enjoyed it if you want to learn more about stable diffusion and comfy ui check out the links below in the description as always please support this channel by subscribing and clicking the like button below